I'm Heidi Bellotto, host of Charlotte Living's Culinary Online. Today we're cooking local with local goat cheese. We're using Bosky Acres goat cheese. The, an artisan, it's from an artisan goat cheese dairy in Waxon, North Carolina. So much fun to go visit. And Michelle has her goat cheese at every farmer's market in Charlotte. So, and it's also available at a lot of retail um, establishments too. So what we're going to do is make a regular caramel sauce and then enrich it with the goat cheese. It's so yummy. It's going to start with the pan on a hot burner. My burner's on high. It's already preheating. And a half a cup of sugar, regular granulated sugar. We'll pour that in. Now, once you start this sauce, you can't walk away from it. We're going to add a couple of tablespoons of water to that. And we're going to just give that a little stir. The sugar is going to melt into the water. And eventually, it's going to start to brown. It's going to start to caramelize. And that's the basis for our sauce. Sugar, caramelized sugar, is very, very hot. So if you're cooking with hot oil and it spills on your skin, or boiling water and it spills on your skin, it hurts, and you're, but you're okay, it goes away. Hot sugar gets on your skin, it sticks. So be very, very careful. Now, we're just going to keep stirring and keep an eye on it. You don't necessarily have to stir. You can even swirl the pan around. Best to use a stainless steel pan. So it's bubbling up and that's what you want. So best to use a stainless steel pan so that you can really see as the color starts to change. If you use a darker pan or a copper pan, it'll work great in a copper pan, but it's hard to see the color changing. So this just takes a few minutes. Just keep swirling. You can't walk away. Come on, take a look closer in and you can see better. So it's just like when you caramelize onions. You went from a white sugar color to this beautiful golden caramelized color. And now we're going to add on our heavy cream. So what you want to do, take the pan off the heat because you're pouring a cold thing or room temperature thing into hot sugar. Pour it in. Now put it back on a medium heat and just stir. Just blend that together. The sugar is going to bind a little bit, but it'll start to come apart in the heat, in the cream. And if the cream starts to rise to the top, just lift your pan up off the burner. Then if the sugar starts to melt again into the cream. And we're going to add just a tablespoon of real butter to that mix. Blend that together. And then we'll add our goat cheese. Oh, God, it smells so good. This will smell a vision. You could just be too tempted. This caramel sauce is wonderful over toasted pound cake, over French toast in the morning if you want to do that, over ice cream if you want to do that, anything you want to add it to. And now, once the sugar has melted um, and dissolved back into the cream, it won't get firm again in your refrigerator. Now that we've got it all liquidy, oh, this looks like coffee with just a little bit of cream in it. We're going to add our goat cheese. This is one container of Bosky Acre goat cheese. It goes right into there. and blend that in. So the goat cheese is now going to melt down into this wonderful creamy caramelized mixture. Then you let it cool and you're ready to serve. Now we're going to, we, we started with a sweet goat cheese mixture and we started with dessert because life is short. So we're going to take it over to the counter and we're going to, I'm going to show you a savory goat cheese appetizer that's really, really good. So let's move this guy. I'm going to grab a little trivet here. Come over here. So our caramel sauce is done. So we're just going to stir it up a little bit more and let it cool. Don't try to eat it while it's hot because remember, it's melted sugar. It'll burn your tongue as well. Even though we've got our heavy cream and our goat cheese in there, when it's all, um, cooled all the way, then you can transport it to a little jar or a Tupperware container or anything like that and keep it in your refrigerator. Now for our appetizer with goat cheese, now that we have dessert all taken care of, we're going to take one carton of Bosky Acres cheese, and you can use the plain cheese for this, um, or you could use, there's a garlic and herb goat cheese, there's a lemon pepper goat cheese, either one of them would work well in this recipe. I've got some little round toast, I made these out of pumpernickel bread because they add a nice crunch and a nice color to it, but any kind of crustade or crostini that you want to use. Spread those with a little bit of the Bosky Acres. Bosky Acres also makes feta cheese and you can use that too. Just smash it and make it a little bit creamier 
on so it'll stick to the toast a little bit. There we go. Then we're going to take another local product. This is lo local cloister honey. It's honey that's infused with chili peppers. So it's got a little bit of a bite to it. We're just going to take a spoon, stick it right in the container, and then drizzle it over each little toast with goat cheese. This is an outstanding appetizer, full of local flavor. One more to do there, or two more, whoops. Just go back and forth. If when you're using your honey, the um, chili peppers all sink to the bottom, just store the honey in your cabinet with the lid on and turn it upside down, and then the chili peppers all come to the top. Ready to go, so we have one, local goat cheese appetizer and then a local goat cheese dessert. This appetizer concept can also be done um, stuff your stuff a piece of chicken with the goat cheese and sprinkle the honey over the top or combine the honey and goat cheese together and then use that as a spread over anything. The caramel sauce over dessert uh, over pound cake it's great over pancakes or french toast for breakfast or I just like to eat it with a spoon. I'm Heidi Bellotto for Charlotte Living Online. Enjoy.